Hey there, YouTube folks. Dennis here again, and I'm going to uh, record uh, the repairs I'm going to make to my fresh water tank. It seems that the fresh water tank on this RV is sagging quite badly. Uh, I like to do a lot of boondocking, and I like to carry a full tank of water, which is about 36 gallons in this case. And when I brought back from the last trip, I noticed that uh, underneath the underbelly was sagging way down and uh, even some of the protective sheeting that's underneath there is coming loose. So uh, I came up with an idea on how to correct this sagging using some supplies that you can get at your local hardware store. Uh, I found that you can get this, these supplies at McCoy's and at Tractor Supply. McCoy's is a little more economical in regards to price. So I, rec you know, I recommend you check out McCoy's if you've got one in your area. Otherwise, uh, Tractor Supply has the supplies as well. And you may be able to get some of this on the internet as well, but let's take a look at the problem. Okay, so here you can see I've got the under the insulation pulled down and you can see the water tank there, how it is drooping down quite low. And there are a couple of straps that are holding that in there. However, they're not doing the job. Now this water tank is pretty much empty at this time. I drained as much of it out as I could, but it's still sagging. Uh, and, and there's water in the bottom of it that you really can't get out because the tube to suck it out of there for your water pump doesn't go down far enough. And this water tank's a pretty, pretty large one, 36 gallons. It goes, there's about four foot of it that goes across uh, the middle of this area here from side to side, it's six foot between the rails. And if you take a look under here, you can kind of see the sag a little bit going on. But since I took the water out, it's not so bad. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a brace across about the middle of this tank, which is gonna end up being mounted approximately right up here on this suspension channel, this box channel here for this suspension. I'm gonna put a brace right across the middle of it and I'm going to drill a hole here and I'm gonna bolt it in. So let's take a look at the material that I've got. So here's the material that I'm gonna use. This is called a uh, box channel, I believe. Uh, it's used for hanging garage, garage doors uh, or barn doors. You can hang it from this box channel. And it's, uh, I, I looked at using the super strut that you can get it at Home Depot, but the super strut has holes in the top of it and it's not near as rigid as this box channel or the box rail, they call it. So you can get these, these brackets for it. So my, my plan is to mount this up here, up here right on the trailer frame and then use a, a floor jack to jack it up in there and connect it and have the, the channel going across the entire trailer. So this is an eight foot stick and it, it run me about $50 plus tax for the eight foot channel. And then the two uh, brackets were about $17 a piece plus tax. Otherwise, I'll cut it to a little over six foot. And uh, I'll, so that just enough to, to put it into those channel brackets. Additionally, on top of the channel, the box channel, or the box rail, see it's flat on top. I've got some three quarter plywood. So that way the, the bottom of the water tank isn't sitting strictly on the channel. I'm gonna put this uh, plywood on top of this channel and I think I'm gonna put this piece, this piece of three quarter and then possibly another piece of half inch across there. Let me get to work on this and uh, I'll come back in a little while and show you where I'm at with it and how it came out and all. Okay, we're finished with the job. The freshwater tank is now supported very well. So let's take a look at how I took care of the business here. Let me switch the camera around and we'll take a look at what how it turned out. Okay, here we are under the trailer. Got the, uh, the box rail installed here. And I used the bracketing and I added this bolt so that it's not just sitting on these little arms here. 
So I put a bolt all the way through the box rail and the, <clears throat> the bracket, <clears throat> mounted the bracket to the suspension frame by drilling a hole all the way through. Of course, to make sure there's nothing on the back side of this. And then this, this bolt here comes with the bracketing. I added this for additional support. <clears throat> Did the same on the other side. I used floor jacks to, to, to bring this up. And also I used some bottle jacks on each end. As I turn around, come around the corner here, you can see how the, the bolts are through the bracketing. And you can see there that the box rail is not sitting on the bottom rail of that bracket. I used that bolt to secure that. And then as I go through here, see the back side of it. And back in the back there, you can see that I used a sheet of three quarter plywood and a sheet of half inch plywood. So it is full of water at this point. I, do, I did fill it up with water and you can see just a slight bend in it, uh, but it's completely full up with water. And I used some little brackets on the, uh, on the plywood there to keep it from moving. And then if you'll notice, you know, during the, <clears throat> while the, the tank was being, was bloated, it, it pulled that underbelly off. And I found these uh, rope rings down at uh, Harbor Freight to secure that, that underbelly back up because it had pulled the, the washers, uh, regular body washers right on through. So I found those down at Harbor Freight. They work pretty good. It's a big, a large ring. Here's the, the box of what I used for a large body washer to hold that underbelly up. And I used the, the, the washer that was up there underneath that box ring, that channel right there, underneath that little lip. I used both the, the washer that was the body washer that was up there and, and this, and then I put a bolt through the middle. And I guess if I ever want to hang anything from underneath the trailer, I could, but of course I'm probably not. But I did that on all four of them. <clears throat> so let me go around this way and show you. Looks from this angle. All right, so you can see up here, I use those to secure that underbelly. I had to have four of them. And then you can see the box rail going all the way across. A sheet of three quarter plywood and a sheet of half inch plywood to give it a little more lift there in the middle and so that it's not sitting just on the box rail. And it is full of water and it, it is holding that. We'll see how it does going down the road, but I really don't see any problem with it going forward. It's pretty sturdy. One other thing I wanted to mention, someone might ask about this clearance here for this uh, the suspension piece. I have checked it and as far as the clearance, it it's fine. I, I let the, uh, the front tongue all the way down so that this would come up as far as it could. And uh, it's, it clears it just fine. So it's probably better to put it up here than back this way. But I did notice that I put it just in the right spot so that this comes up. When it does come up, it, it clears this just fine. And if it was to go up high enough for this to touch here, well then this is gonna hit that before that hits, before it comes to contact there. So I think I'm good. I don't think there's a problem with that. Anyway, just FYI on that, in case anybody's got any question about it, there's plenty of clearance for this box rail, even though it hangs down pretty low. So yeah, you may wanna check yours before that tank falls out. Mine was on the verge of falling out when I found it, so. Heartland North Trail, they need to come up with some type of extra support for this. This is just cheesy, you know? 
and I highly suggest if you're using your fresh water tank, you need to check into it, make sure yours is secured. All right, well, I hope everything, this helps everybody out. All you YouTube viewers, hope this uh, helps you to get an, an idea on how you could support your freshwater tank. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Adios.